Hello, hello, and welcome back to Dream Queen. Um, Perla here. So we are back with Aquarius. Um, any questions as to what it is that I do? How do I do it? How do I get the songs? Um, services that I provide, donations, um, channels that I... Whew, yeah, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> channels that I recommend and stuff like that down below on the description. Now, um, Aquarius, your song is Tangled Up In You by Stained. Um, Stained? Stain, Stein, Stein. I don't know. Whatever. <sighs> You're the light that helps me find my way. Is the verse. Now, <sighs> we kind of just been free flowing and using the water and the candle as a, you know, as guidance. Um, <sighs> what I'm sensing is okay. Whether you're the Aquarius or your person is the Aquarius, whoever is watching. <laughs> There she starts. And no, I'm not editing it. Go with Dudo. Alrighty, okay. Go with Dudo. Go. Go. What's, what's at the door, Zena? Go. She's like growling at something. Since I started to set up for your video, she's been doing that. Um, I don't know. She mad at something. Um, you guys are mad? I'm not mad. Uh, my head just got really heavy though, like very clouded, um, running thoughts. Um, you're being affected by what your person is going through, like their, their soul is trying to push through. So, um, your person is going through a lot of turmoil, um, turmoil, um, emotionally and mentally, um, replaying things, um, trying to see how, if there's any way that they can, um, approach you, if there's any way that they can try and fix things, but are not clear on how they can do that so those rushing thoughts all of those um not being able to make decisions not being able to think clearly from time to time it's not so much you it's more of your person so just take a couple of minutes and take a few deep breaths in and out and just kind of like release that because again it is not it is not you your person sees you as the light so they're connecting to your energy they're trying to connect to you um they're so is trying to push through and trying to connect to let you know what they are going through but in through that process you cannot get lost in that and think that this is you i know that some of you are frustrated and um kind of fed up but understand that we all because of the fact that we awakened first and we became to the knowledge of what was going on first um we're at a place where where we're kind of tired of waiting we're we're tired of doing the work we're tired of this we're tired of that <sighs> excuse me and i understand um that you're tired but also understand that <clears throat> masculines, the majority, the majority of them anyways, um, just woke up not that long ago. And to some of them, most of them, this idea of just one person is like, did, um, what? But I'm a player. So keep that in mind. Their ego and their soul I think I said in one of the other videos, um, are at this battle, are at this um, tug of war back and forth. So if you wake up one day and you feel like, oh my God, I'm so amazing, I'm, I'm in my bliss, um, and then the next day or like a couple hours later, you're like, oh my God, you're such an answer, oh my God, I can't, crying your head off, then <laughs> at least have the... Um, At least have the knowledge to understand that it's not your energy that his is coming in very strong um or hers you know whoever awakened first is usually the female um but you know physical bodies well no see now i'm getting confused um feminine energy whether it's a male or a female body so <laughs> try if it'll help to go back to where you were at when you first woke up how were your emotions how were how were you trying to grasp all of it um and try to have a little bit of compassion and a little bit of sympathy for what they're going through because it, it wasn't easy for you 
so it is not easy for them um yeah <laughs> I, I know but it's like you know I, I've done all this work and I've done all this thing and they see what um where I'm at and they see yeah um sweetie no they don't see it their soul sees it their soul senses it their soul feels it their ego is blinding them so um just so just remember that um the same way you know and i keep saying this because i think a lot of people oh, excuse me a lot of people tend to forget that that we all have free will and we can get things to a certain point and then from there we have to go truly by faith and by how we respond when we're at that point that faith is the only thing that is left um determines the course of the process because i can sit here and say okay um and this is just an example this is not what a person is going to do let it go i can sit You okay? She wants some attention and some love. That's all she wants. She wants to be pet. Um, your person can say something that is going to get you upset. Um, something that um, can hurt you. Now, you have two options. You can react and retaliate and say something to hurt them on purpose. That is going to leave that's going to lead the path, the course, somewhere, you know, let's say to the left. You can respond, accept the fact that your person is hurt and is trying to hurt you in the process. And having the understanding that what they are saying to you is a reflection of how they're feeling about themselves. And then you're responding. Now, that allows the course, the path, to go, let's say, to the right, which allows it to move forward faster. So... You know, Jupiter 11, 11 always talks about, like, you know, are you going to react or are you going to respond? But you ha if you're not understanding things to the level that other people are saying it, then it is up to you as an individual to go out there and research things. It is up to you to take that time, that quiet time to go inward and try to get clarity on things. We are here to help. We are here to guide. We are here to assist, but we're not here to do the work for anyone. So we all have to come into that understanding that as a community, we're here to support each other and to try and lead each other to the correct way. But at the end of the day, the only person that you should solely be relying on is yourself, um, your intuition, your emotions, your feelings. Now, when I sit here, and I know that my videos are not, my readings and things are not like other people, um, <clears throat> and the reason why I guess that I share a lot of like my own personal things and I share a lot of like, um, I try to give advice and stuff like that is because I want, <clears throat> I want, everyone first of all to succeed not just in being in union with your person but but we're talking more about i want everybody to succeed in self-love i want everybody to succeed on their mission on their path on living the best life they can possibly live and if there's anything that i have experienced or if there's anything that i know that i can share with you guys then that is what i'm going to do um it doesn't sit well with everyone because people just want you to tell them what what they want to hear but um i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna tell you the things that you do not want to hear <laughs> so that is your question that is the question for you are you reacting or are you responding to what your person is doing if you're reacting you're gonna delay it and things are you're just basically restarting a cycle um, if you're responding, then that is basically going by faith. 
which allowed things to move forward, which allowed things to speed up. And, you know, it's funny because half of you that are watching me, um, whether you're the Aquarius or your person is an Aquarius, half of you are going to react And I'm going to be pissed um, with everybody, with all the readers, with all the people that gave you advice, with all the this, da, 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 da. And then the other half of you are going to respond. The other half of you are going to go by faith. So I guess that this is your last chance that if your person is reaching out in a negative way, if your person is trying to say something or do something intentionally, then take a second and do not react because if you react and you go down that path then there is no one to blame but yourself for staying stuck or for going backwards that simple because going right staying in faith Staying in your alignment, going in when you have to go in, admitting where you are at fault, because we are at fault. Um, every single day, there's things that I do that I um, immediately either catch myself while I'm doing them or saying them that I'm like, oh, wait, nope, we're not going there. Um, <laughs> and that is what allows you to propel forward. That is what allows you to grow. Because people sit there and think that because we're sitting here and we're giving advice or we're doing readings that we have it all together. No, we don't have it all together. We have enough of it together that we can see things when they're coming. We can see things when they are about to manifest, um, whether in a negative or a positive way. And then it allows us to make the correct choice for that situation. So the only reason why that happens is because we can go in the mirror and call ourselves out on our own ball. Because if you go ahead and you react, then do not ask. You don't have, in my opinion, the right to ask about your person because you're not even aware or taking accountability for your own actions. So why are you so worried about what the other person is doing or not doing? Worry about you right now, sweetie. Worry about how you are going to respond. The type of interactions you're going to have with your, with your person when they move forward. Because I feel that for the Aquarius, there is a group of you where your person is going to come in strongly. And everything is going to seem like okay for like a little bit. But then they're going, as they're, as, as they're trying to heal and release certain things, they're going to come in a way that it's going to seem like they're attacking you. It's going to seem like they're blaming you. And that is when... You have to decide if you're going to react or you're going to respond to whatever they're doing or saying. And always remember not to compare your journey, your situation or anything like that to anyone else's because you and your person have a specific journey, um, a specific path, um, specific situation experiences that you guys have to learn um that are meant for you to help others so if a person is doing something a certain way um and you're doing like you know just because we sit here and we say oh i did a b c and d does not mean that a b c and d are going to work for you it means you start with the tools that we're giving you and make them work for you however it is that your inner soul is trying, your higher self is trying to show you. So the connections you make with people that um, you feel that you know, you're know you in sync with or whatever are there to help you get to you, to help you get to you, to know you. You understand? To know what works for you. Because throughout 
all of my experiences, I've had people, oh, I did this, I did that, or my cousin did this for that, and my cousin, and I'm like, okay. Oh, you should try. And I'm just sitting here, like, shaking my head. Oh, that's good advice. Thank you. Um, I listen to it. But the thing is that a lot of the advice people are giving me, <laughs> I have already done. Because when I, fa when I come, when I face a problem, a challenge, I go in, oh, and, and I decipher it. And I, and I research and I look and I da 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 da, -da until I exhaust everything possibly that I can know about that specific thing. So only when a person brings something up that I haven't heard, then I'm like, huh, hmm, we gotta do some research. So a lot of the things that you guys are already hearing, a lot of the things that we say, you have already heard. But for whatever reason, you're either not understanding it not we not allowing yourself to receive it or are in that place where you think you know it all and if we say something and you are not you don't know you're not clear you get the concept but you don't understand like the step by step then you are an adult you can do your own research you can either look for other people within the community um, or outside the community. I don't care where you go, but do your research and look until you find, until your soul finds that thing that is going to click with it, that is going to allow you to have the full understanding, to grasp exactly what it is that you're missing, to get that full clarity. Well, guys, that is all that I have for tonight. Um, <laughs> You guys gave me it. Not a headache. It's like a fogginess. It's like... Take a couple of deep breaths. Breathe. It's okay. Bye-bye, guys. Love you. Thank you for watching. See you guys real soon.